Like something out of the pages of Tales from the Crypt or the Vault of Horror, Comforting Skin is centered around a damaged, lonely woman who, in her desperation, finds herself in the sexual thrall of a cursed, sentient tattoo. Hi, I'm Cinematico Magnifico of AmoralCrackpot.com, and welcome to the Nightly Chill. For all the campy fun and scares to be mined from its outlandish premise, Comforty Skin is, oddly enough, far more interested in being a serious, introspective character piece. As the freshman outing from writer-director Derek Franson, the general quality of the movie is fairly impressive. With only a few exceptions, nearly every scene is well shot, well paced, and well acted. And this is most definitely worth noting, because in many smaller horror films, any genre really, especially one involving a novice director, it isn't often that you get competent, bordering on strong visuals and performances. And while it certainly helps that Francis was working with veteran talents like Victoria Bidwell and Ty Runyon, there simply is no disregarding the inherent skills that Francis has exhibited here. Unfortunately, despite its strong premise, directorial work, and performances, Comforting Skin still suffers from an inadequate and imbalanced script. While not outright bad, the script is not capable of delivering on scares. Frequently cliché and messy dialogue is only salvaged due to the strength of its performers. And worst of all, the all-important relationships of this character-centric movie are ill-defined and often brushed aside for the silly erotic adventures of a woman and her eyesore of a tattoo. Now, while I want to blame the overall failure of the film on Francis' decision to take the material perhaps a bit too seriously, I instead want to commend him for not only attempting to take things in a direction that plays to his strengths, but in a way that others involved in low-budget ore often refuse to go. Rather than going for the cheap scare or unfunny gag, Francis instead presents a grounded, emotional story worth exploring. That said, I think the reality is that his writing skills just aren't on par with his directing. Perhaps if the script had passed through a few more revisions, or at least through a more skilled or seasoned writer, Comforting Skin could have proved a must-watch for both fans of horror and strong character dramas. But as the film is now, it fails to appeal to either. It's silly when it shouldn't be, it's utterly lacking in scares, and the more dramatic aspects of the story are lost to a tonally inconsistent narrative that far too often stops dead in its tracks for more exploitative and almost unnecessary, though fortunately not gratuitous, sex scenes. Overall, the film starts and ends stronger than much of what comes in the middle, but that simply isn't good enough to save what is, on the whole, not a good movie. A good attempt for sure, and very much an admirable one, but just not good. Unfortunately, Comforting Skin is a no-chill. That's going to do it for us tonight on The Nightly Chill. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow, and also be sure to leave me any questions, comments, suggestions for future reviews, and maybe even discuss today's movie at greater length. And as always, this video is brought to you in part by our viewers. If you'd like to learn how to support this and other projects, please visit amoralcrackpot.com or check the description below. But until next time, y'all need to make like a tree and get out of here.